Okay. Got a solid chunk of aluminum. That's aluminum, it's solid. I'm going to put some gallium on it. Right in that little spot right here. Let it soak up for a couple days. See if I can't tear this apart with my hands. I mean, I've seen them do it with, you see them do it all over with cans and a Star Trek badge. But not a big solid chunk of aluminum like this, so I'm kind of curious to what the effects are going to be. First, I'll take this rough up the inside, take off the oxidation. Suck up my gallium. Drip it in there like that. Alright. Now I'll let that sit for a couple days. five in here. It's trying to freeze. Go oh well. Let's see what happens. Okay, this has been sitting for about a week now. I haven't really been keeping track of it. I just sat on the shelf and kind of forgot about it. Seems to be fully absorbed into the aluminum now. Oh no, there's a little bit still having to absorb in there. But a lot of it is absorbed into there. What I've been noticing is when I touch it, I leave my fingerprint and I wipe the side of it off, and it looks like it's the aluminum is not able to oxidize anymore. See, it's like that all the way around. I guess that might be gallium on my fingers or that in oxidation. Hmm. Oxidized aluminum. And just wipe it off. If my theory is correct, I can wipe all this oxidation off and the gallium will not let it oxidize anymore. So when I come check it again in another couple days or so, it should still be shiny. Okay, just for comparison, this is the one I didn't put gallium on. I had two of them. This one I used to play with the eddy currents. So, this is unmodified. Notice it's a lot lighter. It's more white. Not quite as reflective as the gallium one. 
I don't know if you can tell in the video. But the gallium one's a little bit darker. Maybe you can tell if I do that. This aluminum is more of like a white because of the oxidation. This one, yeah. See, see, a little bit shinier, a little bit darker. Check it out. Keep in mind this is a powerful magnet. And it's the eddy currents making it do that. This is my aluminum that I kept for just this purpose. And that's about a hundred pound test magnet. Okay, this has been sitting for a few more days, and it got a slight oxidation on it again, but I can just wipe it off. The best lighting for this. See, there's where I wipe some off. It's soaked up. See, I just wiped that off. Soaked up most of the, pretty much all the gallium. See, gallium doesn't pour no more. So I'm just gonna, and I'm not gonna be able to rip this apart with my hands, so I'm just gonna throw it in some water. You can buy a gallium, aluminum gallium alloy on galliumsource.com. I noticed that, so let's see what it does. See, this is too much light. Okay, the water's turned dark, you can't see anything. Stuff is moving in there. Okay, now it's starting to react pretty good. You can see on the top, it's producing the hydrogen. Been noticing pretty much all the metals or whatever that really aren't worth anything else that react with water, make hydrogen. I guess that's pretty much all they're good for. But my hydrogen generator produces more than that.
Yeah. That's not as cool as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> really? Hmm. Yeah, I left it in there for like a day and a half and it's crackling and popping and weird. You're crazy.